Hey, what's going down guys? What's Crackalack and the Zombie Project here? In this video, I'm going to show you a sweet little tank trap strategy. This is mainly used for when you're in the high rounds and you run out of ammo um, and you don't want to end off the game. You want to continue the game and you need something to get through the rounds um, at a decent speed. This is a great little strategy. I wanted to show you guys how to call the tank. There's a little switch behind the tank station that you just saw me hit there. That's how you call the tank. Now that I have called the tank, the tank is on the way down. Um, so I have all the zombies rounded up right here in this area. Once the tank approaches, it kills the whole wave of zombies. Then I go ahead and run ahead of the tank, which will spawn more zombies in front of the tank and kill another wave of zombies. So I killed about roughly a wave and a half of zombies just when the tank pulled into the station, which is really good. Now that we have the tank um, at the station, um, right when it pulls into the station, you can go ahead and activate it again. You don't have to wait for the tank to recharge because what you did was you called the tank. You didn't ride the tank. If you rid the tank, then you would have to wait for it to recharge. But you only called it, so you don't have to wait for it to recharge. So you can just round up another wave of zombies like you see me doing here. Try to get as far away from the tank as possible because you got to get a running head start. You want to get as far away from the zombies as possible so you can jump up on the tank and activate the tank before the, before the zombies jump up on the tank. I yeah, hope you guys are following me here. But... Here we go. I just I'm trying to get a, a, a head start and get away from the zombies as far as possible. I just activated the tank and I just killed a whole nother, another wave of zombies. Um, another way you guys can do this, uh, there's another way you can kill the zombies. There are flames that come out of the side of the tank. Um, so what I do here, this is a little bit slower, uh, but I have the, the the tank pulls in. And right there, it shoots flames right out the side, and that's another way you can kill the wave with the tank. Um, and while you're waiting for the tank, you can, if you see the robot coming, you can even use the robot foot to kill a wave of zombies. You can run up here, kill a wave of zombies while you're waiting for the tank, and there we go. I mean, this is a great spot to run, um, but I wanted to show you guys this clip right, real quick. Um, the tank can down you. I don't think it was like this uh, before we got the update, but um, the tank can down you. And right there, this is when I was testing this out. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't make contact with the tank. Um, if the tank shoots fire and the fire hits you, that's okay, but you don't want to make t contact with the front of the tank. So you want to make sure that you stay ahead of the tank at all times or else it will down you um but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the tip man smash that like button for me i'd really appreciate it um that's all i got for you guys right now on the zombie project i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out i'm outie peace